after a judge in quite a few of uh, Jared's fights, but uh, he's got his hands full with Joe tonight. Yeah, he's a talented fighter, but he is going up against a barn burner and Joe, the ninja in Borshing. Joe's out of uh, Bozeman, Montana, originally from Livingston, Montana. He's a graduate from Park High School. Uh, he's 24 years old. He's got about four years' experience in this sport, but he comes from a long line of sporting events, basketball, track, football, wrestling. Um, he is uh, right now transferred into one of the best MMA guys in the state, training with Montana MMA. And here we go. Uh, Scott Morani's getting him started. Uh, both both fighters squaring up, standing up. You know, I, I know uh, Lunsford's got a bit of a boxing background, so we'll see how long this one stands up. I've been wrong before. I think they're both going to keep it standing for a little bit. Joe wants to give a shout out to his friends and family. Also, uh, Jake Lindy, he dedicates his fight to a friend of his that had passed away recently. And he'd also like to give a shout out to Lionheart Caregivers. Well, uh, we'll see how long they keep it on their feet and we'll see uh, who, who eats some shots first and uh, who gets a little bit uncomfortable. A lot of times you get uncomfortable getting tagged, standing up, you want to go to the ground. So let's see what we got going on. Looking like they both want to stand and bang right now. I don't see anyone making an attempt for a clinch, anyone making an attempt for a takedown at all, Dana. We got both traditional fighters, they're both right-handed fighters, uh, waiting to see a southpaw in here tonight. I got nothing yet, but uh, both fighters squaring up. Joe looking for a outside tie kick. Oh. That was a nice combination. That was a, a right leg kick followed by a right hand. And, he, and, and uh, beautiful combo by Jared. Lunsford ate it right on the chin, too. They're standing center cage. Inside tie kick by Joe. You can see their boxing background on both their behalf. Right. Oh, he's eating some. Oh, here we go. That's our first clinch with a knee driven by Joe. The ninja in Borshig. Like I said, who gets okay, uncomfortable from go. taking some shots? There and Jared's go. the one. And now he wants it to go to the ground. Yeah, you're right. Jared's done eating shots. He's looking to go to the ground. Maybe equalize this fight. Although Joe's no slouch on the ground. Montana MMA, they train a lot of jiu-jitsu. Their, their head coach is a black There's belt. There's that sweep. I was looking for him to pull that leg up high and look for that step across sweep, and he got it. He's into side control here with Joe. Joe needs to keep that left arm of Jared's contained just like that. He will negate any damage from the bottom. You know, I, I think Joe's got the experience as far as your MMA training on the ground, so... Uh, you know, he, hopefully he's going to be a little bit patient here and wait for uh, Jared to make a mistake as he did. Got a little sit-up nice sweep there. reversal for the ninja. Look now for we'll a see how comfortable huh? Jared is off of his back. Joe was very patient down there. He didn't panic with Jared on top. Nice body shot. Looks like he's got a good solid side mount on him, Dana. He does, and you know, I, I think he's a, you know, he's just a little bit more experienced on the ground here. He's giving up that back. You don't want to do that to a jiu-jitsu guy. Jared's coming up oh, and out. Here we go. Up. Square him up, fellas. Let's let him go. The crowd goes crazy. They want to see this back on their feet, Dana. As does Jared. He, you know, he, he ate a couple shots, went to the ground. I think he's probably a little more comfortable back up on his feet here. Crowd's happy to see him up on their feet. Boys throwing some bombs. Oh, oh that's a right shot. Hand and a left. Great combos put together by the Ninja. Jared's got a great jaw to take that shot. Yeah, and it looks like he's getting a little tired. He's floating his chin a little bit. He's going to eat something here. Laid off with that uh, front push kick. Here we go. Trade oh, the pose again. Big shot, Another big right shot. hand. This could be it. I think could that's it right there. That's it. Referee calls the fights due to strikes. TKO. Your winner, the Ninja. You know, you could see uh, Joe's patience paid off right there. Jared, uh, you know, he, he, he caught a couple shots, and uh, he was floating his chin a little bit, and uh, Joe caught him. Dana, that's an outstanding record these days, 8-0. Oh. Yeah, absolutely, 8-0, oh, that's a good record. 185-er, 8-0. And, oh. and let's face it, Jared Lunsford is no slouch. Joe no. had his hands full with him. Yeah, he, he's a tough kid, but... <coughs> A lot of times you get caught with a big shot like that, your hands go to the ground. Hey, hats off to Joe. Good job. Good job, both gentlemen. That was a good fight. Beautiful fight by Joe. Looks like he executed his game plan beautifully, too. Well, you know, before the fights, Joe was telling me that he uh, 
He's done uh, quite a bit of boxing, and that showed right there. Threw some nice tight shots. Left hook, snuck it out there. Good straight shots, no looping shots. Bang. Right down the pipe, every shot. Here comes a bad, after this, here comes a knee right to the ribs. And I, Punch to the ribs and a knee to the ribs. That pretty much ended it right there. Right there. Great combinations, though. He put his hands together nicely. He did, he did. And that right there, that knee to the ribs will uh, make a fight go south for you.